welcome to the mathematics in my channel and thanks for watching today we are going to solve another interesting integral question the question is integral from 0 to square root of 3 1 over 1 plus x squared times arc sine of 2x over 1 plus x squared dx well how to begin first we know this is familiar with us because we know inverse sine of 2x over 1 plus x square is equal to 2 times inverse tan of x when minus 1 lower than no equal to x lower than no equal to 1 and when x greater than to 1 we know this is equal to pi minus 2 times inverse tan of x okay now i'm going to take this integral is equal to i and now we can write i is equal to here 0 to square root of 3 now we know minus 1 to 1 uh, sine of 2x over 1 plus x square is equal to 2 times uh, inverse tan of x but uh, when x greater than to 1 this is equal to pi minus 2 times arc tan of x so we can write here 0 to 1 1 over 1 plus x square times inverse sine of 2x over 1 plus x square dx plus now 0 to 1 now 1 to square root of 3 1 over 1 plus x square inverse sine of 2x over 1 plus x square dx well now 0 to 1 here I rewrite 1 over 1 plus x square times now 0 to 1 inverse sine of 2x over 1 plus x square we know 2 times inverse tan of x here dx then 1 to square root of 3 here 1 over 1 plus x square 1 to square root of 3 we know greater than to 1 so this is equal to pi minus 2 times inverse tan of x here dx then i rewrite 0 to 1 here 2 is a constant so we can write outside of the integral and here inverse tan of x over 1 plus x square dx plus now we can multiply by 1 over 1 plus x square so 1 over 1 plus x square times pi so we can write pi 1 to square root of 3 dx over 1 plus x square here minus 2 so minus 2 is a constant so we can write outside of the integral sign here 1 to square root of 3 inverse tan of x over 1 plus x square dx okay now how to evaluate this integral here same integral but here limit 0 to 1 here 1 to square root of 3 okay now we can use substitutive method so if we take inverse tan of x is equal to theta now differentiate so dx over 1 plus x square is equal to d theta now lower limit when x approaches to 0 theta approaches to we know x approaches to 0 inverse tan of 0 we know here also 0 upper limit when x approaches to 1 when x approaches to 1 theta approaches to inverse tan of 1 we know pi over 4 so we can write here 2 times now limit 0 to pi over 4 here inverse tan of x we know theta dx over 1 plus x square 
is equal to d theta so we can write here theta d theta plus here integral of dx over 1 plus x square we know inverse tan of x so we can write here pi times inverse tan of x from 1 to square root of 3 here 2 times now same integral but lower limit when x approaches to 1 we know theta approaches to pi over 4 but upper limit when x approaches to square root of 3 theta approaches to inverse tan of square root of 3 we know pi over 3 so we can write this is equal to uh, pi over 4 to pi over 3 inverse tan of x uh, here same as theta d theta well now we can integrate so we know here 2 times theta so theta square over 2 from 0 to pi over 4 plus here pi times now if we plug in square root of 3 here inverse tan of square root of 3 we know pi over 3 minus here inverse tan of 1 we know pi over 4 here minus 2 theta square over 2 to from pi over 4 to pi over 3 okay now we can simplify this so we can write here 2 get cancelled and if we plug in pi over 4 pi square over 16 plus here pi times pi so pi square over 3 here pi square over 4 here 2 get cancelled if we plug in pi over 3 so pi square over 9 and here if we plug in pi over 4 uh, here minus sign so this is going to plus phi square over 16 well then if we simplify this we will have 7 over 72 times phi square okay this is the answer if you like this video please subscribe this channel thank you for watching